Hello guys, so in this video, I'll be reviewing the camera of the Eureka. As you know, the back facing camera is 13 megapixel with a flash and it has autofocus which can record up to 1080p. And the front facing camera over here is 5 megapixel and that is also autofocus. And both the cameras shoot very good pictures, I would say. So before getting into the sample shots and the video recordings, let's see the interface of the camera and the interface on the camera of Eureka is very easy it's just like tap to focus and if you want to capture the photo simply click over here that's it and if you want to have different filters then you can simply slide like this and it will change the filter and in aqua the photo will look like this so you can see that in real life and if you want to click the photo then you can simply click the photo and now if you want to switch over to video mode then simply hit over here and it will start recording a video and as you can see over here it started recording video and if you want to focus on particular point while recording a video then you can simply tap anywhere you want where you want to focus and now if I want to pause the video then I can simply hit over here and the video is paused you can do anything you want or if you want to click a picture then simply hit over here it will take a picture and now if you want to start the video once again simply hit again and it will start recording a video and that's a pretty nice feature all the phones do not have uh, pause and start feature so that's a pretty good, nice addition and if we go into settings then as you can see over here we can customize so many things like we want 16 by 9 size then we can simply hit over here and select 16 by 9 size if you want 13 megapixel then we can uh, let it be there and there are so many modes zero shutter lag is something by which uh, the photo will be taken instantly you press the camera button as you can see that's the zero shutter lag and if we slide to video mode then we can select HD 1080p video and if we select 720p video and as you can see slow motion will be enabled and we can do a 60fps video with HD 720p and in video codec you can select H.264, H.263 or MPEG4 H.265 was supposed to be here but it's not here so it might come in lollipop update as promised by you and in general you can simply select power shutter like if we if we go back now and if we hit the power button it will take a photo and volume zoom you can simply these are some basic features so you can use that too and you can select bright screen which is one of the very good options because many times when we are shooting outside uh, in the direct sunlight we cannot uh, look into the screen because the screen the brightness of the screen is low so if we select this then whenever we launch the camera application the screen will be at the highest brightness so that's a very good thing so this is it for the camera interface now let's take a look at the sample pictures that i have taken with the eureka so as you can see these pictures are taken in bright sunlight so the camera looks pretty nice i would say the colors and the images are very crisp and very sharp too and there are no issues with that and this image over here looks really nice the sun is on the right side so that's why it's, it is looking very nice and now let's come back to my garden once again and as you can see the wide angle shots are also very nice the colors are produced very well the color of the grass is also looking like it should look actually and this photo is very good as you can see and let's take a look at the flower over there and as you can see the macro shots are really awesome with the Eureka there are no issues with that and once again this is a random picture of a pool where we can't swim and this is a macro shot once again and as you can see it focused really well I would say it was not completely focused but uh, the Lino A6000 didn't focus at all so Eureka surely did a better job in this and this is once again a wide angle shot and as you can see the colors look really nice no issues with that and in this photo I have focused at the end of the photo and in this photo I have focused on the flowers so as you can see the phone focused really well and the autofocus was also very good and this photo is taken with normal mode and then this photo is taken with HDR mode and in this photo as you can see there are different colors so this photo is taken with auto mode and now with HDR mode the photo looks like this and as you can see the colors are produced really well in HDR mode uh, this photo is taken with auto mode and this is once again a wide angle shot and the sun was in the right side this is another macro shot and the macro shot is looking really nice and once again this is a wide angle shot and the yeah the phone performs really good in this department and this is a macro shot once again 
and this photo is taken in the night i would say around 7 pm and by using manual focus i focused directly into the sky so that's why the photo looks really nice i would say and this is a panorama shot and i have to say that the panorama shots are not so good they come out blurry actually so let's get to the front camera test hello guys so this is the front camera test using the eureka and the camera seems pretty nice and as you can see i am in direct sunlight right now and uh, yeah this is the sun over here and the camera looks pretty nice so i don't know about the microphone as of now but it's i'm pretty much sure that it must be good so yeah yeah this is it for the camera video test so guys this is the rear camera video test and as you can see i am recording in full 1080p and if i go to direct sun then as you can this is the sun if i try to focus then it doesn't focus properly uh yeah this this look good but if i come on this side where the sunlight is not directly entering into the camera then the camera looks good no issues like that so my final verdict on the eureka's camera would be the macro shots taken with the phone are really good and the normal photos taken with the rear camera are also very nice i won't say that they are bad but in low light conditions or sometimes uh, randomly the photos do not look that good but the photos are surely very good i would rate it 9 out of 10 considering the price of just rupees 9000 and you cannot get the same exact performance from any other phone except Redmi Note 4G and uh, i have to say that the camera given in the front and the rear is really nice and with some software updates and some tweaks you can really play around with the camera like anything so yeah uh, thumbs up for the camera on the Eureka and if you want to see the full review Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because uh, I'll be uploading the full review real soon. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions or if you have any queries then don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. I would surely try to answer your queries. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.